All right, so welcome back to DIY Willie. Today, we're getting back with Max, my 224cc uh, Max Performance Mega Moto Mini Bike. Um, carburetor needs some tuning. The uh, has a flat spot under acceleration, and uh, I've noticed that when I pull on the choke, uh, it runs fine. So I'm pretty sure it needs a bigger jet. Uh, probably with the length of that intake runner I have uh, causes it to lean out a little bit. I don't know. Um, but uh, yeah, we're gonna take it for a little ride, and you'll you'll see the the flat spot, and then uh, I'll uh, I'll pull the choke, and you'll see it take off better under choke. So uh, yeah, let's get going. No joke. Okay, so we've got the Nibby carburetor off of uh, Max, and uh, I had a request from Kentucky Fried Fixin to uh, take a closer look at the Nibby carburetor. You know, um, it's a really nice carburetor. I like the color, colors of it. You know, the colors they use. They also have it in the in the polished aluminum, but I like the the matte black look, and uh, you know, I like the red on top. It's just an all-around nice looking carburetor. Now I'm not going to disassemble this down to each piece, um, but uh, I am going to try to figure out the jets. As you can see when we took it for that quick little ride, it's got a really bad flat spot and when I pull the choke, uh, that flat spot goes away. So uh, yeah, I think it needs more fuel. That's a pretty big intake runner right there and I think it uh, leans it out. It needs more fuel to uh, make up for that run. So we're gonna go ahead, open it up now. I did when I adjusted the floats, because when I first put this on, it didn't work that well. And uh, it wouldn't idle, and it was overflowing out this vent here, and this one on the bottom. So I tightened this bolt up, and I adjusted the floats, and it stopped leaking gas. Uh, so, I changed the jet there just under the assumption that I was going to need to put a bigger jet in it and uh, well, I guess I still need to go bigger. So this is the Nibby uh, PE24YJFL, it's got the flange that we use for the, uh, the mini bike manifolds. So anyway, let's take a look, a little closer look anyway. We'll unscrew the top. Watch out for the spring, it's spring loaded. We'll just set that stuff aside. Pull the uh, slide out. Isn't that a beautiful piece? Look at that. Look how shiny that is, how perfect. I mean, it's just a nice piece. Look at that. I'm gonna leave that right there. Now there's a little plastic uh, alignments, I guess we'll call it a spacer that's in there. We wanna make sure that stays in there. Take a look down in the throat of that carburetor. You see how beautiful that is? Can you see it? How about inside this way? I mean, just look in there, the machine work that goes on in these carburetors. It is spectacular. Catch it from all angles. Man, look at the machine work. Very, very nice. Very nice. I wish all carburetors looked like that. So to get the, uh, the bolt off, I'm going to use a number three millimeter Allen wrench. Fits in those just right. Now these screws here aren't really torqued down. So uh, you want to loosen them up evenly. You don't want to take one more out than the other. Just kind of work them side to side. Some carburetors have four, some have two. 
you know it just depends on the manufacturer this one only has two we'll set these over here we don't want to lose those pull the bowl off there's a little needle in the bowl it kind of makes it hard to slide off and on you just got to make sure you put it in the right way when it goes back in too just like that so this one is going inside this hole that one there it's going inside that hole and this one goes down between the floats so anyway that's the inside of the bowl right now it's clean it's brand new and all the floats now it looks like they're a little bit off if you see this line this line should be parallel with the bowl of the carburetor or the carburetor rod I've got to set a little bit off. I don't think that's really messing with my uh, my RPM or my my idle or speed, but it doesn't seem to run out of gas, so I don't think it's a problem. But uh, it could be adjusted a little bit better, but actually it's not that bad. I'm going to leave it there. You see that? Now newbies have this little plastic piece right here, and we can just pull that off just like that. And getting into this jet I forget which is which I think this is the main jet this is the pilot jet and we're gonna get into the main jet Let's see what size it is I should have brought my glasses I'm about half blind because this one is a 115 so we got a 115 in there right now and we got us some flat spots so I've got in the box here more jets now originally this came in a 110 and I stepped it up to 115 so uh, I think we're gonna go a little bit more on the main jet I'll try it I'll see what's next see let's see what newbie gave us before I dig into my little packet there let's see what newbie gave us newbie gave us oh man that's the 110 that came out of it It's even smaller it looks like 108 and what's this one 112 so we're not able to use any of those because they're smaller than the one we had already what's this one this is a 33 or something well I can't tell it's not that clear okay so that packets we can't use that packet so let's take a look at what we got here One twenty five looks like one thirty five. One oh five. One oh eight. We know we're already out of those, right? These are really hard to read. Uh, 100 possibly? Should have brought my glasses. This is a 140. Holy moly. Wonder if we have to go up to a 140. And this one is a 120. Put it right there. This one is a 115. We're already at a 115. One thirty. One 
and a 110. Okay, so we know we can't use these. I'm gonna put these smaller ones in the bag where the other one was because we're not going to use those ever out. Obviously, we need more. I'm going to put them back in here. So, we're at a 115. This was a 125. That's a 135. 120. One thirty. And one forty. So if we're at one fifteen, where should we go next? How far up? So we just do we just skip one and go to the next one up, which would be the one twenty five, I believe. Yeah, it would be the one twenty five. Should we just jump right to the 125 and go for it? I think so. I think that's what we're going to do. We're going to go right to the 125. Don't have to be tightened in there too much. Just give it a little quick little... And we're good to go. Okay. So... I'm going to put these in a separate bag. Ooh, it's warm out here today. Can't get away from this California hot sun. So I'm going to put these in this one. And the one that we were using here. Now, for the pilots, we're at 40. Right, let's check it out. I don't think I have a problem with it idling. It idles really well. Yeah, that's 40. I think we're gonna leave that alone. I think we're gonna leave that alone. So what do we have in, those, in that size anyway? We have a 55, Ooh, that's good. We have a 52. We have another 40. I'm gonna put the 40. And this one because obviously we're using that one already. So keep those there. We have a 30 38. I would want to go down. <laughs> we have a 35. We have a 48. And we have a 45, a 50, and a 32. Right, wouldn't it be interesting to go to the 45? Do you think it would make a difference? Can we step it up a little bit? Hmm. I wish I knew more about jetting. I guess I'm gonna learn with this one, right? There's a 48. I thought I said a 45. 50. 45, there it is. Should we up our game right there? Why the hell not? Let's put a 45 in there. Well, it's idling right now, right? Uh, boogers. I'm gonna put this one over here with this bag and we'll put these away.
Okay. So now we've stepped up on our uh, main jet. Let's see what we get. We'll put it back together and see what we get. I forgot what we put in there. What did we put in there? A 125. So let's put it all back together and uh, see how we did. If I can get this tune, this carburetor tuned and work as well as the VM I have on, on Mighty, oh man, I'll be happy. Because Mighty runs so good. Remember, run them down evenly. Don't, don't crank them down. I bet there's a torque spec out there somewhere. go bet there's a torque spec out there but I don't have it so inside I don't know if you can see it but there's a there's a thing on the side a little tab that lines up with the tab of the uh, slide and then on the bottom you can see a little indentation that's this one this guy controls your idle that works on this side. You turn it in, it'll it'll lower, it'll raise the idle. You turn it out, it'll lower the idle. So you just want to make sure you line those up. Drops right in, just like that. And uh, we can put the spring. Now, when you put these on, make sure you get them threaded right, or they will strip out. I've always found it's a good idea to kind of, uh, especially on the on the China brand ones. And the, and the Mikunis. This one's got some pretty good sized threads. But if you put it on and just give it a little turn backwards, it'll usually line up the threads. And you can turn it right on. You don't have to crank it on either, you know, you just tighten it down and you're good to go. So I'm gonna get this back on the mini bike and uh, we'll give it a try with that other jet in there. Okay, so I've got it mounted back on again, probably for like the third or fourth time. I'm not sure how many times actually I've had it off. I think it's, I think, I think it's three times. So what I ended up with was a 52 pilot jet and a 125 main jet. And two turns on the fuel screw. I turned it in, gently turned it in until it bottomed out. And then two full screw turns out. And this one I had, uh, I don't know how many turns is on this one actually. I just adjusted it to where I like the idle. So with that said, let's take it for a ride, huh? And see, the flat spots are gone. I have ridden it already. Or let's just show what the difference is now after we've made these changes.
itself has lights off at 40 miles an hour. So let's take a look at what we got. We've got the Nebrick carburetor back on. Everything's running good. We've got the jet sizes we went through today. Uh, I think the 52 is a little bit much. I might have to go the next one down, which I think is a 50. Um, that put it right in its sweet spot, I think. So I'll do that. I'll do that later. Um, but I think that'll be perfect. Right now, we did get it to an incredible 48.5 miles an hour and uh, it had plenty more after that it was still going I backed off only because I ran out of road I need to find a place where I can really stretch this thing out and let it let it go um, we know that at 40 miles an hour the hat flies off so uh, note to self hat flies off at 40 miles an hour but anyway we got it today to 48.5 and it still was going we would have got much more out of it there was still throttle left in it and it was still accelerating no issue whatsoever i did not wear my helmet i should have worn my helmet uh it was going way too fast i gotta put some some shoes on too because riding like this is just not a good thing i gotta be safe these things are way too fast now so uh yeah um sounds good runs good the engine performs great um, i'm very happy with the build um still shakes i guess it's just that stroke in the in the engine i guess but i'll just just get used to it and uh i've got some more things to do i want to make an engine top plate for it uh i've got a pcv valve to put on the the vent and uh, some more hose to run that thing where we need to go and i gotta weld this piece back in that i cut out to make room for the uh the, the gas tank and engine i was doing before before i went to this setup so uh yeah i'm gonna end this video here we got it to 48 almost 49 miles an hour and still had plenty more to go uh we got a 52 pilot jet and a 125 main jet i think our main jet is good it's our pilot jet i'm gonna play with i'm gonna go down one size which i believe is a 50 and i think that will be just just perfect so uh thanks for stopping by checking out my videos Thanks uh, for following me along on this 224 build. It's been a it's been a heck of a build, man. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. So I'll always come back to DIY Willie for your uh, mini bike needs, and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye.